Wait, Cloud? Cloud? Cloud! Touching grass can wait. I see now. You're right, Megumi. It's not over yet. After all, the cloud exists. More specifically, cloud computing. The usage of computing power on remote servers hosted all around the world rather than on your own personal computer. So I researched a bunch of different cloud service providers, but most of the services are paid and even Google Cloud, which has a free trial, has an extremely complicated process just to set up a running Docker container with a GPU. DigitalOcean also has free credit for those who sign up, but no GPUs for some reason. I have the right idea. Now I just have to find the right solution. Where can I find a free cloud service provider that can run my Docker container with a GPU for free? Google Colab apparently has a free GPU, but it doesn't have support for Docker. Oh come on, I thought we were done with this bit. What? You just stole that line from Black Panther. But you know what? You're right. There was a better way to run Whisper AI than just Docker. I was using it before just for simplicity's sake. The main way to run Whisper is through its Python library, allowing us to properly integrate it with Google Collab's notebook. Also, I believe Collab is the easiest and most accessible cloud service since everyone has a Google account, right? I'm sure someone in the comment section will prove me wrong. Oh wait, never mind, you need a Google account to comment. Absolutely outplayed. So I configured the Collab notebook to use the free GPU everyone has access to, installed Whisper, loaded the model, and now we can run Whisper in Collab using a free GPU on the cloud. But how do we interact with this notebook from our program? Well, we can just basically write some code to recreate Whisper as a web service, but instead of it running in a Docker container, it's running in Collab as a Python Flask app. And then, in order for us to host it on a public IP address, we'll be using ngrock. Sign up, pass in our authentication key, and now we have a public web server running Whisper on the cloud exclusive for us to run our audio transcription. On. We don't even have to change much of our code as I perfectly recreated the API endpoints. So all we have to do now is replace the localhost URL when we ran Whisper in a Docker container with the public address that ngrock provides us. Finally, we are able to run Whisper AI without using our own GPU resources and most importantly, not even spend a single cent for hosting what's essentially a Whisper AI web service on the cloud. Yep, Kira, I just saved you $1,000, you're very welcome. And if I can run Whisper on the cloud, why don't we do the same for voice vox as well? So begins my day-long process of trying to understand the voice vox repositories and practicing my ability to decipher the documentation in extremely scuffed Google translated English. In the end, I managed to run voice vox on the cloud as well, using the local tunnel npm package. Also, since a Google account is only limited to one running collab session at a time, I created and used a separate Google account. If this feels like we are abusing Google for the public hosting of our AI services, we most definitely are but they have their hands busy with their own ai chatbot so i think we're good i'm missing the phone we have no okay we're gonna move on we can't find the phone sorry we'll do a let one later in the special q a now that we solved our GPU issue, there's just one last tiny problem, audio routing. Now this part is extremely technical and not many people will want to know the details, so feel free to use the YouTube chapters to skip this section. Last video, we used a virtual audio cable to send our text-to-speech waifu voice to our application's mic input. We are also playing that same voice to our speakers so we can hear what's being said by our AI as well. So we have Whisper AI constantly listen in the background to our system's audio output, it will start transcribing our own own AI text-to-speech, which is quite annoying. So we need a way to segregate our system audio, our game audio, and our text-to-speech audio. To do this, we'll be using the free voice meter banana application, which acts as our audio mixer. Along with the virtual audio cable, or VAC in short, that we previously installed, voice meter comes inbuilt with another two cables, which I will call the VAIO cable and the auxiliary cable. I dedicated the VAIO cable for our default system audio output by going into the control panel and setting the default playback device so every app by default should play into this cable. Then, I directed any audio received by this cable to the speakers so I can hear my computer's audio. The next step is separating our game's application audio from everything else. We do this by setting the audio output of the app to the auxiliary cable and sending this game audio to our speakers so we can now hear it and the auxiliary cable's output. Now our Python program can listen to this cable's output to only transcribe voice chat audio from the application. The third step 
step is the same as the previous video where we configure Python to play the text-to-speech anime voice through the VAC cable input and change the application's input device to the output of this cable. So now, our teammates will only hear the translated text-to-speech through voice chat. This was honestly such a pain to come up with and yet another problem that just made me want to throw this entire project in the trash. You guys have no idea how many hours I spent browsing forums to learn exactly how voice meter and virtual cables worked, especially for my extremely unique use case. I could spend money to buy more virtual cables to make the audio routing so much easier, but I really, really wanted this program to stay completely free to play. I, I mean free to use. Too many gacha games. So finally, our voice translator is done, our audio subtitle is completed, and the audio routing is set up. Let's test our newly created AI program with one of my Japanese friends that I met back in my training arc, where I only played in the Tokyo servers to practice speaking Japanese with my random teammates. Uh, あ、俺は最強。オッケー、当てる当てる。この文章から うんうんうん。このアニメ知ってますかあ、進撃の巨人。エヴァンゲリオン。エヴァンゲリオン。ノー。ノー、エヴァンゲリオン。ノー、ノー、エヴァンゲリオン。進撃の巨人。エレンイ
全員を殺したお前たちはもう安全だあ,あ敵が増えてる早く倒してこよう強ありかと私が生きている限り誰も死なせません。そう、アニメ。No, I'm so bad at Sanji, dude. Please stop. You know what? For my next project, I might just create、uh, something to translate like, the text、uh, in the chat box. この3人であれば絶対に勝てると信じています。最後のチームですもう諦めるなみんな一緒に来てねゲームありがとうございましたいいえ聞こえませんマイクを使おうとしているのでしょうか<笑>でも使おうとしてるのですかってことは聞こえてないんですかねじゃあついてませんついてますねこれ。No, no, 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 no. It's working, it's working, buddy. 今あなたの声が聞こえます。聞こえてんな。ノラさんの,の声は聞こえないんですかねでも僕の声は聞こえるかもしれない。次やってあげるよ。はい。かわいそうじゃん。Oh、<笑>中距離の武器だからね。特にね、中距離のバーストだから。マジで難しいです。なんだろうね、確かにエイムアシスト強いんだけど近距離はねもうパッと最強よ特にサブマシンガン I would say a 50% accuracy rating on the AI which is you know honestly kind of expected there's so much like other artifacts in the game やめてー、like、in the game audio <laughs> what the <笑>あーいいいやマジで慣れてきたなって今皆さんはそこで私の命を救ってくれましたなんかあの今ローバーがなんか言ってて皆さんは私の命を救ってくれましたからって可愛いねありがとうございます<笑>翻訳かけてありがとうございますといたしまして<笑>やばいねどうしよっかヒーリングも使い切りましたあー負けた負けた,たってまだ諦めないでいや,いいいや結構きついですよこれまだ,まだ諦めないぞ俺はやばいっすねこれ燃えてる燃えてる燃えてるナイスショッピングわあ、決めてちょっと待って、いさすがに頑張ったぞ、謝る頑張ったね、頑張ったね、ありがとう I mean, I mean we have to write はい、よろしく百五十なの大先輩大先輩 AI はあなたの日本語を英語に翻訳してくれているという意味ですああ、そうなんだあ、じゃあ英語圏の人だ<笑>大丈夫か、AI ちゃんこれ AI ちゃんを起こすわどうか私を救ってくださいどうか私を救ってくださいはい救いました中にいるよ<笑>こいるかもなんかいるくね出してみてこいつ一個一個巻いてるバッて一個巻いてるバッと一人あ来てる来てる来てる振りかけ頑張れ頑張れ頑張れ頑張れ頑張れ頑張れ頑張れ頑張れ頑張れ頑張れ頑張れ頑プロセンスか何かですかそうだよ、この子とコミュニケーション取ろうや<笑><笑>なんかあおい、なんか来たってハエ飛んできたって八十入ってるいやこれ下来てますよもう下入ってます Who is that? Who is that? 申し訳ありません、私は力不足ですいやいやいやいやいや、何言ってんだ<笑>私たちは完全にあなたが上のハンダのホームホールからビットは YIFRON を作るための<笑> CFOPOS がわからわからん<笑> AI プログラムがバグってましたアイアイキャンプスアイキャンプスってイングリッシュちょっとだけあなたの英語はとても上手です<笑>英語褒めなかった Thank you, thank you <笑><笑>ああ分かったじゃん。I hear your voice, voice chat. Come on. 自分の声を聞きたい。I, I, want, to, I want to your voice here. <笑>ちょっと恥ずかしいです。あとで言葉で話します。もうこれ最後だよ。じゃあ今声聞こえますか、はい、お聞こえる。おお。あったあったあったあった。あったあったあった。あったあったあった。あったあったあった。あったあったあった。はじめまして。はい、はじめまして。ああ、死ぬ死ぬ。やばいやばいやばい。守れ守れ。
いここもいるあ別バーペットお前ってないっすよねそうですあんだいい声じゃねえかよいやいやまだ日本語勉強中です勉強中ってことめっちゃうまいけどねめっちゃうまくないすごいうまいっすうまいね日本,日本何年目日本語勉強の何年いやいやいや多分1年間かも1年1年で y o u r e a w e s o m e ありがとうすげえわいやうまい,いや2人2人もうまい<笑>いやそりゃそう<笑>マッチャーマッチャーねえな,なんて呼べばいいブライアンブラ,ブライアンブライアンおおよろしくブライアン<笑>よろしくいいな俺も英語勉強したからでも今の英語はめっちゃいいわかりやすいブライアンブライアンあのね私たちあのそろそろカスタムマッチの時間ないのだからさ、okay. ブライアンとりあえずあの,あのフレンドフレンドになっておきましょうはいはいフレンドまたやろうやはいありがとうど,どうやって送るんだっけなフレンドって多分ロビーロビーで俺一旦巻きたいんだよねはい大きいの必要ああもう I love you <笑>いやー、ここ、ここ。早く行け、早く。パンチだ。早くパンチ。ああ、やばい。どうもどうも。どうもどうも。はい、フレンド、フレンド送ります。来た来た来た来た来た。お、フレンド。はい、今カスタム行くんでしょう。いや、またやろうな、ブライアン。うん、またやろう。ありがとう、ありがとう。バイバイ。じゃあ、それでお疲れ。バイバイ。いや、はい、ラブです。ユーシングマイマイク。Okay, I, I, I wasn't really paying attention to the subtitles, but I'm pretty sure most of it was wrong. <laughs> Maybe in the future, they,、uh, they might make some improvements to the model, and then this would be a more viable real time AI translator for people to use. But for now, I'm pretty happy with、uh, what we got so far. If you were to use it while watching video or streams or watching anime, I would give the audio subtitle a 70% accuracy rating. If you use it for voice chat in game, however, where the audio is compressed, the mic quality is bad, or the other person is just Speaking extremely quickly, this accuracy would probably drop below 50%, unfortunately. But the voice translator aspect does work most of the time as long as you speak clearly. You know what? We didn't use ChatGPT at all this entire video, so let's give it the honor of naming our project. This one sounds good Language Lead AI, your personal multilingual AI translator. Although right now it's mainly directed at English to Japanese, since our text to speech is Japanese based, you can easily swap it out for any other TTS system with your desired language. And nope, Your eyes aren't deceiving you. I did, in fact, create a public GitHub repository with all the code I wrote, I, I mean, stole from ChatGPT, Stack Overflow, and my friend. So now you guys can run Language Leap AI for yourselves and, I don't know, troll your friends on Discord or something. Although, do keep in mind, I'm just like one noob programmer making my first public repository. There's probably tons of bugs and issues that I haven't ironed out. So feel free to roast me and complain about how trash my code is in the YouTube comments or create an issue on GitHub. With that being said, guys, this video is finally over. Over. This has to be the biggest project I worked on, not only in terms of coding but also video editing. And we reached 3,000 subs somehow. I meant to make this video a 200 subscriber celebration thing, but before I had a chance to do so, we somehow hit 3,000. <laughs> like, never in my life would I have imagined a socially i n e p t weeb like me could make something that so many people can enjoy. Anyways, enough rambling. I'm going to finally go out and touch some grass. Miku, you can handle the outro, right? I'm going to channel 思ってないんだからね。